You're watching the mailbox. I'm used to fast this. And when we get these questions that come in like this, I, I feel like it's important for us to, to try to give references to the answers so you can follow up with it. So at the end of each one of these, I want you to remember we do have a website for you to go to to get more information. It's called the Islam Newsroom. And then you type in your keyword and you can pull up all the information that you need there. Now, this one is asking the question, my mom wants me to go to the U.S. or Europe to learn engineering, but I want Islamic education in the Gulf. Please advise. Okay, a question like this is difficult for me to give you a yes or a no because I really don't know your full situation. But I do know that Allah is telling us to obey our parents. So you need to really look into this idea and find out what it is behind what your mother is looking for from you. And as far as studying Islam in the Gulf or any place on earth, you can learn Islam wherever you are because we do offer a lot of opportunities through the internet, through the, the mail, and places that you could uh, actually go to in many areas in the United States and Europe to learn more about Islam. One of the best places to learn about Islam, of course, is in your own masjid. Sit with the imam, sit with the sheikhs, and gain the information that you need to be a good Muslim. As far as getting an Islamic education, and I go like this because what do you mean by Islamic education? Every Muslim is required to know the basics about their deen, about their religion. At the same time, it's not required for you to be an imam or know how to give a khutbah. If you can, well and good, but that's not a requirement. So if your idea is that you want to be a scholar of Islam, if you want to be a teacher of Islam, a presenter of Islam, things like that, um, this is an, a subject you really need to think about real hard because there is not a big financial future in something like this, although there would be a good reward with Allah. At the same time, not everybody can handle that. This is, takes a lot of de dedication and it requires sacrifice on the part of you and your family. And if your mother's telling you from the beginning that this is not what she wants you to do, certainly I'm, I'm positive your mother would like you to get some basic information in Islam, no doubt. But as far as spending four, five, or ten years studying Islam, and then what would you do with your education after you got it? So these are things that I'd have to know more about. If you want to send me another email about this and give me more details, then inshallah I will be able to give you a little bit better answer. But don't forget to visit us on the internet at the Islam Newsroom and then type in your keywords. You'll be able to find some of these answers there. Till next time, that's the mailbox. Um.